Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be not on this makeup look, but specifically on eyebrows, how I do my eyebrows. Everyone does them differently and I usually just kind of like skip it in a video or speed through just because it takes so long and it's so repetitive. So I figured I would just do a video on it and show you guys how I do them. So if you want to see how I do my brows, then just keep watching. So I have already done my face makeup. Um, a lot of times I will do my eyebrows before my face makeup um, just because I use concealer and I can kind of blend the concealer in with the foundation. I'll tell you what I'm talking about in a little bit. But I went ahead and did my face makeup first for the purpose of this video and also because I am also filming another video, my highlight and contour routine type thing. So be on the lookout for that. But my face makeup is already done so now I'm going to start on my brows and everyone uses different products they have different preferences there's a few different ways to fill in your brows one is a pencil this one's from Anastasia one is a powder like an eyeshadow and then another one is like a gel pomade this one again is from Anastasia so I usually use a combination of pencil and pomade some use just a pencil just a pomade whatever so that is a personal preference thing so I'm gonna start off with the pencil and I'm just going to brush let me get you guys in closer okay so I zoomed you in and I'm just going to start by brushing my eyebrow hairs up so I can see the bottom line of my brow so I'm going to start towards the front and I'm using a very light pressure I'm holding pretty far down on the pencil and I'm just going to start doing little hair-like strokes across the bottom, just outlining. And then when I get to the tail, I do a little more pressure. Sorry, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. I use a little more pressure on the tail just because I want it to be a little darker and sharper than the front. So light hair-like strokes towards the front. And then a little bit more pressure on the tail and then I will comb them down so I can see the top of my brow hairs and I will just go ahead and do the rest of the tail hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here And then again a little lighter towards the front. And when you outline you can do them in any shape that you want. I'm basically just doing my natural brow shape. Um, some people don't have a whole lot of brows. I have a decent amount of natural brows so just if you don't have a whole lot, just make them kind of the shape that you want them. That is what the outline is for. Okay, so also with the pencil, what I like to do is the front part right here. So when you're looking kind of like this, you can't really see it, but if you lift up your brow or you tip your head back, there's this space right here that needs filled in that you don't normally see. So either lift up your brow or tip your head back, and I just kind of lightly do little hair like strokes using this pencil just to fill in that void and then also with the pencil I'm just gonna do the front and I can't really talk while I do it so I'm just gonna explain it first I am doing hair like strokes kind of upwards because that's the natural direction of the hair and I do more pressure towards the bottom and then kind of feather it off towards the top so that it looks more um, natural. And you can use the spoolie side that really helps to brush through them and just kind of blend out the product. And again, people have different preferences. Some people like a softer front, some people like a more 
hard and like kind of squared off so that is totally up to you whether you want to like box it off or make it more feathery I do a little bit lighter in the front part like right up here so again that is personal preference so now I'm going to switch products and I'm going to use the pomade and you can use the pencil still or powder for the other part here um, I prefer to use the pomade or a powder just because my brow hairs are a lot longer out here I feel like it's easier to get through to the void of space than it is with a pencil so I'm just going to fill in that little bit of skin that you can see with the pomade and an angle brush this one is from Anastasia but I don't know the number it's rubbed off but it's a double sided spoolie and an angle brush so just fill in in between where you outlined and you can like lightly bring it towards the front if there's any more spaces to fill in and then again brush through it so you don't have a bunch of product in one spot okay so both of my brows are filled in and you can leave them like this you can stop here that's perfectly fine but what I like to do is go in with some concealer and I'll just put some on the back of my hand and I'll just take a flat definer brush like this and I will go in and conceal them and I think this makes the biggest difference it just makes them a lot more clean and crisp and dramatic and it will also clean up any mistakes that you've made so I'll just take a little bit on my brush and I will go right underneath them and just butt it right up to the um, pencil that I used. Again, I can't really talk and do this. So just kind of underline it like that and then just start to drag it down to blend out that line of concealer. And that's just really going to sharpen it and also highlight the brow bone as opposed to this side. And also, like I said, if you make any mistakes, this is a great way to clean it up. And then some people just do the bottom. Um, I'm going to do the top also. And this is another reason why, like I was saying earlier, I usually do my brows first. Um, so that I can, when I go in with my foundation, I can just kind of go over the edge of the concealer and blend it in. But you can do your brows after too and just make a thinner line of concealer or just go back over it with like your beauty sponge or something just to blend out the edge of the concealer. So again, I'm just going to go along the edges. So as you can see, it really like cleans up and makes it stand out. So again, that's personal preference, whether you want them to be carved out with concealer or not. So then I'm just going to kind of blend out the edges of the concealer. Okay, so they are filled in and carved out. So last but not least, I'm going to set them. You can use a brow gel, clear mascara, out, whatever you want. I'm going to use the Essence Make Me Brow just because I have it. And this is just going to set everything in place. And especially if you have longer brow hairs like I do, they can kind of stick out and get all crazy. So you just set them with a gel just like you would like your hair. And it's just going to hold them in place so they don't get all crazy. Okay, so that is all for my eyebrows. I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so this is what it looks like with all the rest of my makeup done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, you can use whatever products you prefer, whatever shape you prefer, concealer, no concealer. This is just what I do. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!